Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Ben Alexander. If you're new here, it's good to see you. Ford are doing really, really, really well. Uh, a few reasons why. Uh, but today's video, really, I wanted to talk about the, the new batteries they've been uh, talking about having from next year. So cars that you can buy from Ford that are electric from next year will have the LFP batteries. LFP batteries, if you don't know them, they are the lithium iron phosphate batteries. So they are super, super, super safe. Um, there are tests where they've been uh, run over, uh, bent, heated up to 300 degrees Celsius. Um, they've also been charged to 260%. They have been penetrated with a nail. It's the only battery to uh, be able to survive that test and not produce heat. Uh, they are, And it's done well with them all. The only thing that happened out of all of that is that the surface temperature of the battery cells went to between 30 and 60 degrees Celsius across the whole battery cell. That's it. So there was no smoke, definitely no fire, uh, no fumes, nothing at all. So there was no thermal event, which is a big deal. Uh, even, uh, uh, you may not know this, but Tesla have been using, uh, I think it's about half of their cars now, I may be wrong, comment below. I think it's about half of their cars now are sold from uh, their China plant anyway, with LFP batteries. It's the chemistry that is being put into batteries now, uh, almost as a default. It's just a brilliant technology. It's not just lithium ion uh, cells that are being used. It's brilliant. So that's kind of what's going on here. You, so you can't buy one with a Ford vehicle this year with that battery, it'll be next year. Ford have just said they have ordered enough and had a, a, a for, for all of their cars next year, 600,000 global sales, uh, and they've ordered enough, I think it was 60 gigawatt hours of battery storage from the company in China called Cattle, C-A-T-L. Uh, and so they've ordered those batteries, they're gonna go and, and they're gonna get put in the cars that you can buy from next year. So that's a big deal. Um, also in October, if you look at the data from October last year, and October this year, sales doubled for Ford in their electric vehicles range. That's incredible. Ford are doing super, super well. Not only that, if you just have a look and Google this, Ford have an, a range now of electric vehicles that are really, really all nice. They've got the Ford Transit, which is just brilliant. Um, they've got the Ford F-150, that's electric, that's brilliant. Um, they've got the Mach-E, also brilliant, very compelling. Um, they're doing so well and six percent of their sales globally uh, so far this year have been electric vehicles which doesn't sound much but we're talking about ford it's a very old company uh you know you would probably argue that it's quite conventional in its approach to uh designing and, and selling cars but yet they've transitioned quickly enough so that six percent of their sales uh is now electric, which I think is quite an achievement for a company that makes uh, 11 to $15 billion profit over the last handful of years. That's a big deal. Uh, so that's the sort of money they make. They make 11 to $15 billion per year profits. That's a lot of money. But they've just said uh, between now and in the next four years to 2026, they are putting $50 billion into the, de de the development of their electric cars. That's incredible. Uh, that's the sort of headline you might see and just sort of glaze over. But if you really think about it, that's a big deal. Um, Ford are really taking that, taking this seriously. Um, also, if you look at the statistics, Ford are the number two electric car uh, selling company in the USA. That's quite a big deal too. Obviously, 80% of the USA's uh, car sales, electric car sales, are Tesla. And then a bit of, of Ford. But that's still incredible. I think that's amazing. So uh, I'm really excited to see what, what happens with Ford. Sadly, they've just taken off the Fiesta. So they're not going to make a Fiesta electric car, at least not in the future, because they've just stopped making the Fiesta. Uh, but they still have the other cars, you know. Nobody's really saying this, I don't think, but this is my interpretation of what's going on. Uh, I think we're probably in the next stage now, this transitional period of moving from fossil cars to electric cars. It's now not just expensive Teslas that are getting um, 
good range, you can now go and get a car and just pay a little bit more than what it would have been for uh, the fossil fuel equivalent, and you get a proper electric car. And by proper, I mean it has uh, proper range, proper power, um, actual you know, thermal management on the batteries, things like that. So it doesn't matter if you are live, live in a hot climate, the batteries should be able to survive. And also because of the LFP batteries too, you don't really need to stress now about charging your battery up to 80 or 90 percent and not too much more. You can actually just charge them up to 100 percent and because of the chemistry it doesn't damage them. So you can just charge it up to 100 and just leave it parked and don't stress about that stuff. We're now at a point where you can get to be at 500 with a 42 kilowatt hour battery fairly cheaply. That's incredible. Like, uh, you know, five years ago, if you just look back five years ago, uh, you wouldn't think that was going to be on the cards anytime soon. Um, there's going to be in a Bath 500 EV, because of a Bath, and I was saying they're only making electric vehicles. That's also pretty crazy. Uh, Nissan, they're all there. They're making all great cars, really. It's all all these manufacturers like Volvo as well and BYD, they're all making electric cars and they're getting much cheaper. So the, the batteries are getting safer, more dense, lighter, uh, it's, it's, it's all happening very quickly. And that's why I think electric car sales doubled in the last, uh, from 2020 to 2021 globally for all electric vehicles. You can go and buy uh, a Hyundai Tucson in Australia here for $35,000 or pay $44,000 and get a BYD Atto, which is a fully electric car, you know, several hundred kilometers range. It's a, a good electric car and uh, selling like crazy globally, their statistics show that it's really a popular car. So that's it. I, 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 I think uh, Ford are doing really, really well, and I think they'll continue to do really well. I don't see any issues with them uh, being an actual competitor within five years for Tesla. I really don't, because they have a lot of clout. It's Ford. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, any questions, put them below. And remember to subscribe if you liked the video, because you'll probably like my other videos. I make videos every day. Thanks for watching.